Hello my friends, and welcome to the first unboxing American Made episode. I want this channel to be all about American Made, because obviously the name All American Maker means that I have a passion for things made in USA, making things here in the United States, and supporting American Made companies. And that's what I'm all about. And that's what this channel is going to become because I want you guys to be able to have a resource to be able to know like what is even available for purchase here in the United States that I could be supporting an American made company with my money and my resources. Because whether you're a consumer or a business owner, everything that we purchase either comes from here in the United States or overseas. And for me, I want to be able to say that everything that I do is 100% made in USA. And if at all possible, made here. If not, then figuring out a way either to connect with other business owners and manufacturers in order to have those things produced here. Because I believe that our country is stronger and better when we support our neighbors and friends down the street or in the next state or wherever it may be because our economy is going to go grow stronger and those people in turn will be funneling their resources and money back into the community and that's key. I wanted to tell you guys that this year is all about doing hard things because for me I'm tired of taking the easy way out. It's really easy to just be lazy or take the day off. Or maybe if you're trying to figure something out, sometimes just being like, well, that's too complicated. Or in the area of my personal fitness, I have really been just taking it head on, doing whatever it takes to become healthier. And so a lot of the products that I'm producing say do hard things on them because in everything that we do in our daily life, we need to be reminded to take on those hard things because nothing good ever comes easy. And for me, failure is not an option. So just taking the easy way out just means that I'm never going to accomplish what I actually set my mind to do because it's too hard or whatever that means. And so the things that I produce, whether it's these hats, candles, or shaker cups, and there's gonna be a lot more involved. All of these things are made to challenge me personally, first of all, and second of all, give you guys something in your life that challenges you to take on the hard things. So just go check out the website. This isn't a sponsored video by anybody other than just me wanting to be able to showcase some of the things that I've been able to purchase because I wanted to be able to support some American companies. So the first company that I wanted to feature is called Origin and their website is Origin USA or Origin Maine because they're actually based in Maine, which is really cool. They're actually in Farmington, Maine where I was born. And so these guys are really awesome. They're doing some awesome things. Uh, Peter, who is the founder of it, partnered up with Jocko to create an incredible company that has built an, ins an entire supply chain for denim jeans, for other goods and uh, clothing, as well as boots. And they're just gonna go up from there, expanding the brand. They uh, started out as a company creating jujitsu geese here in the United States because they found that they weren't being made here. And so then the, the, the short story is they saw in the airport one day like something that everybody buys is jeans. We all wear pants and we wear them in our everyday life. Jiu-Jitsu is not something that I personally do, even though I know people who are a part of that community. Not everybody is going to buy the clothing required for that sport or that thing, and so everybody is going to buy a pair of jeans. And so they expanded into that, and now they've expanded into other clothing. And I bought one of their uh, sweatshirts or long sleeve shirts, essentially, that are really high quality, 100% made in USA, and I'm excited to see what it looks like. So it comes in a poly mailer, all graphic up. 
and you've got your, your slip. And I got a 2XL because I'm a bigger dude, but I'm excited to wear this because a lot of the stuff that I wear, even though I have purchased some things made in USA, they're not always the highest quality. And I'm excited to see how this feels, how it wears, and how it looks on me. And from what I can tell, the stitching and everything involved is super high quality. They've got everything stitched right inside there telling you about it. This is a heavyweight sweatshirt essentially. Uh, it'll be great, especially in these cold months, to wear this outdoors when I'm on a walk, when I'm working out, and it's like below 40 degrees or anywhere under there. This will be a great thing to have on and keep me warm. It says Made in USA, and it is made from cotton grown in US farms, as well as polyester in Made in USA. And I'm pretty stoked to wear this because I love supporting American made, but I also love the quality of the goods that are made here in the United States. And so obviously I will link some of this stuff below. I grabbed this the moment they made it available on the website, but they sell out super fast because they are made here in the United States. And then I also got a beanie because while it is cold outside, uh, keeping your head warm and your heat in is a good thing to have. And so it's nice and stretchy. It looks small, but I got this golden brown beanie. It's got a golden logo with the origin wave and they tell a little story inside. Gear with a soul, rooted in heritage, crafted with pride, durable goods that work day after day, a new wave of American reshoring, built to work, made for life. And I just love that. Like, that's what All American Maker is all about. Now, I'm not gonna get into making hats per se myself, even though I will be offering them eventually American made, but I love seeing something that is 100% made in USA and is made right here, and especially in the town where I was born, because it's really cool to see those people prospering and moving forward. And, I'm excited to wear this stuff. The next box that I have is, let's see here. Let's open this sucker up. I did not grab a knife, but that's what hands are for. And so I'm gonna open this up, see what we've got. Oh yeah, so these were given to me as something just to post about and talk about. I'm gonna have to wait till it gets warmer out, but there's this company, Okabashi, which is actually based in Georgia. It's uh, an American-made company that makes sandals, and they look super high quality, they feel high quality. They're not light by any means, but right on them they say, thank you for supporting Made in USA. And the cool thing is, like you wear them, you wear them out, and a lot of times we just throw our sandals out, but these are actually 100% recyclable. They're the number three, which is awesome. And so you can wear them, wear them well, and uh, throw them in the recycling when you're done. And the cool thing about these is they're only $25. So yeah, they're not Old Navy dollar flip-flops like you used to be able to get back in the 90s or the 2000s, but these are high quality and I can't wait this summer to be able to wear these and take my wife somewhere where it's warm and be able to enjoy these. I got navy blue and oh, it looks like they also threw in a koozie, which is pretty awesome. And I got some OD green sandals that are also 100% made in USA and recyclable. These are number two. And they say, thank you for supporting Made in USA. Since 1984, Okabashi has been making footwear in Buford, Georgia. Today, more than 99% of American worn shoes are made abroad. We are proud to be the remaining 1%. And so these guys are doing an awesome thing. Uh, this size is XXL and these are size 12. This is what I wear for sandals. 
and uh, I'm excited to try these out. They feel really good, really high quality, and uh, it's not like I wear sandals every day during the summer, but sometimes when you go to the beach or when you're just hanging out around the house, maybe on your patio, these are a great addition to what you have going on. And I'll be posting some photos of these, uh, not with my feet, because feet pictures are weird, but uh, they're really high quality sandals and I'm excited to see how they work because I love American Made and to be able to showcase an awesome company is pretty cool, I think. And thank you to them for sending me these. This isn't a sponsored video, but they did send me these to try out and showcase on not only the channel, but on my Instagram as well. And the last box that I have is from my bro over at Texas Mercantile. And this looks like I will need a knife for. So let's use, this is just a random throwing knife I have, but it helps to have them literally in every drawer. So I bought some coffee from him. His uh, company is called Texas Mercantile, but the company, the coffee company itself is called Raven Wings Coffee. And it's really cool. He's got kind of like this, it's almost like a, a pirate slash like Western style. It's kind of hard to describe, but he's got like the bison going on and the ship. And these are some free coasters that he sent. This bison is actually indicative of one of my favorite coffees that he has. It's called the Buffalo Brownie. It's chocolate fudge pecan. And this coffee is amazing. And I'm gonna make some today, definitely. But if you guys like coffee, definitely check this out. I'm gonna link everything below that I've shown you guys here. And I don't make any money off of these links. I want to do this so that these guys can succeed because uh, small business is hard. Like for me, I produce a lot of different products like these candles and I support other makers by getting some private labeled stuff like these shaker bottles. And a lot of times it's hard to grow a brand, especially online. And I've found that doing it more in person is a lot easier, especially at like vendor shows and events. And if you have a storefront, that is key. Uh, it's a lot of times hard to get into that because there's a pretty high ceiling as far as the financial investment going into that. And so if there's any way that I can help support American entrepreneurs and makers, I'm gonna do it. And so we've got this uh, Buffalo Brownie his winter blend, which looks really good. I'm ready to try that sucker. And, oh, it looks like you throw in a third bag. Rwanda, and uh, looks legit. Uh, the cool thing is on the back of each bag, he gives some information about where the beans are grown and kind of some notes of the coffee. And so you guys can see that when you try each one and all of that is available on the Raven Wings, Raven's Wing website. And uh, I'm pretty stoked to try some of these other blends. Uh, he says, thanks for the order and for taking an interest. And one of the key things that I love being a part of the maker community and the small business community is when people actually take the time to write a personal note. That is key. So if you're a business owner or somebody that is wanting to start a business, take the time for every order that you do, no matter whether you get one order a day or 500 orders a day, take the time to write a personal note to each person because that will like solidify in their mind this person actually cares about me as a consumer and as a, someone who is taking my time and my money to support their small business. And that's huge. Like I try to do it every time and I don't always hit that mark, but I'm working on it and trying every single time that I get an order to be able to just write a personal note to each person because it's a huge opportunity for you to connect with people because one of the things that we as entrepreneurs and makers and business owners forget sometimes is the number one priority is not making money. 
the number one priority is people. People are what make up your, your, your foundation for your business. And all of these items that I've unboxed here today are made by Americans who either they're like sole proprietors or they have like 400 employees who are dedicated to building that brand and supporting that community. Or maybe they're a company that's been around for 30, 40 years and they have a foundation of excellence and quality. Each one of these companies are people that actually care about their community, people that care about pouring into the people around them. And they pour their heart and soul into these things. And that, for me, solidifies why I buy and support American Made. Because at the end of the day, all we have is the people around us and the people that are involved in our smaller or larger community. And so, thanks guys for watching. I'm gonna try and do this more often. Uh, anytime I buy something, I'm gonna show you guys where I got it from and who I got it from because I believe in American Made and supporting businesses small or great and if you guys want to support my channel i would greatly appreciate that and the only way that i ask you support it is go and uh grab a candle like these are only 25 bucks like yeah you can go to yankee candle or bed bath and beyond and get a trash candle for like six seven eight ten bucks but these are high quality 100 percent american made made with soy wax grown in the midwest and essential oil blends and I do the very best that I can to make these the highest quality possible and I pour my heart and soul into these like it's me doing every aspect of the design the manufacturing the shipping everything and if you're not into candles grab a shaker cup these are only like 14 bucks on the website and they're a great addition to your daily uh, routine whether you're working out or getting hydrated uh, grab one of those and remind yourself every day to take on the hard things so thanks guys for watching subscribe and click the bell to get notified whenever i post a new video and i hope you guys have an awesome week thanks bye